Well, let's start with Tampa Bay Houston because I thought this was the biggest story of the day. Kyle called the 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 big day from CJ Stroud on his top NFL show uh, at CBS. I I don't know what you saw, Kyle, uh, before the game, but this was this is one of those days you'll remember from CJ Stroud. I mean, it's impossible. This kind of offensive production. I know Tampa Bay is not a great team, but from a rookie. Um, it's time to start talking about how many guys you take over C.J. Stroud. One thousand percent. Yeah, I mean, there's a few, but he's up there. You know, I, I'm more willing to buy this than I am when like Brock Purdy has a, a stretch run where he looks like an MVP. Tua has a stretch run where he looks like an MVP because there's those offenses are known commodities, right? There are some really good players on those offenses. They're good coordinators. If you're a good processor, like those guys seem to be, you're going to put up some stats. But like coming into the year, I did not think, and I know CJ Stroud hasn't done this every week, but I did not think with this cast of characters it was going to go this way. As much as I like CJ Stroud and was vocal about that, I, I had no idea that he'd have a, a day like this this year. And I think, Kyle, it's the big boy throws. You know, coming in, I know he had like a, a strong arm and everything, but there's a difference between having a strong arm and being able to hit that ball versus cover two under 15 seconds to go get them down to the 10-yard line. Or the, the Tank Dell touchdown early in the game where he pumps uh, Carlton Davis mm -hmm. and, and just fucking puts that ball on the money, 40 yards, whatever it is. These are big dog throws. These are not little dog throws. These are big dog throws and this guy's a big dog Kyle you know and I think about these these rookie players all over the league that are having success and we're talking about CJ Stroud now but it goes with anybody you talk about like the Seattle secondary guys and I know it was a rough day for Seattle but uh all over the league there's young players that just I feel like don't understand how difficult it is what they're doing and CJ Stroud's in one of those points in his career right now 455 yards five touchdowns um and you know Damian Pierce out Bad week against Carolina last week, 140 yards for C.J. Stroud. I just said, look, this is a guy who none, who knows that he controls the Texans' destiny. And D'Amico yeah. Ryans knows this. The team knows that. Uh, what was really impressive to me is you go out, you start the drive, bing, bang, boom, you're going down the field, then you, you the fumble after a completion, yeah. um, and they go down and score. I mean, that's no way you want to start the game. And if you're the Houston Texans, historically, you're not a very good team. You can't afford to be turning the ball over on your opening possession. And for them to stick with it for C.J., to be able to deliver so many throws time after time. It's so impressive. And to your point, I don't know how many guys I'm going to take over CJ Stroud. I, it, he is, he's just got that it factor, you know, like he does. And, and when you pair that with the fact, the ability to make those throws, you can't measure this. Like I, it's so obvious, but people don't, what's going on in here we have no idea mm -hmm. and so sometimes you're like why is this guy the way he is or why you know like Some he throws a pretty ball but like he's got great vision he's a great processor and you're seeing him extend plays more which is one of the things we talked about coming out people wanted to see him do that more because of the the college that he played at he did it in the playoffs and Little did we know it was a little preview of what he'd look like in the pros. His feet are great in the pocket. Like, you know how Brady was really good moving around the pocket? I know CJ's athletic and he's yeah. big and he can move around, but when he's got his feet with intent to throw in the pocket, it's awesome to see him maneuver around and deliver on that second beat, like off rhythm, boom, get out of it, throw it down the field.